What's up everybody? Welcome to Lum's channel. Today I'll show you how to make an air assist nozzle for your Chinese 40 watt laser that does not suck and is quiet to operate. I want to tell you about my experience while trying to find the right air assist nozzle for my K40 laser. If you're a Chinese 40 watt laser own, owner operator, you probably know the importance of an, using an air assist. Using air assist while etching, engraving, or cutting allows your laser cutter to blow away the smoke that would otherwise fog up the work area and may cause uneven etching. It also is handy in blowing down any flames that may pop up that may ruin your work and helps blow the smoke away towards your uh, exhaust vents. As a new user you may try to 3D print some nozzles as I did uh, with limited success or you may purchase an aftermarket uh, nozzle and lens holder kit from eBay which I also did but none of them were really particularly any good. The so-called laser head uh, with air assist right, uh, isn't an air assist nozzle at all However, it is a great tool to keep the smoke away from the lens. The air hole is so large, right? I, I don't know if you can see this, but the air hole is so large uh, that in order to get any good airflow going to the work, a large capacity air compressor is needed, which I don't have. In the preceding video, you may have noticed that the 3D printed nozzle that I was using was performing rather well until the compressor kicked in. And that was just a small one gallon uh, Campbell Hausfeld compressor that I picked up at Tuesday morning for $29 US dollars. I work on my laser at night so I can't keep the compressor outside or in the garage and using this in my room is really loud as you heard. Additionally, the nozzle in the video was the fourth nozzle I printed, as all of the previous ones succumbed to heat and fire that flared up from cutting. I wanted a nozzle that could reliably assist with the cutting and would not be so easily destroyed that I could, and that I could use a quiet compressor such as a fish tank compressor. But that would require me to move the nozzle head much closer to the cutting area and precisely aim the airstream at the cutting spot without being destroyed by the intense heat that's created and also not be affected by the f little flames that may uh, come up. The solution was for me to try to use copper tubing. The nozzle comes in two pieces, a 3D printed plastic holder that attaches to the lens assembly and a copper tubing pressed into the plastic holder. The tip of the copper tubing is crimped down to form a tiny nozzle. When air is blown into the tubing, the crimped tip causes the airspeed to increase as it exits the nozzle and blow where the laser is cutting the material, effectively blowing away smoke and preventing flare-ups. Because the nozzle tip is so small, it doesn't take a high flow rate compressor to effectively assist the cutting, and I'm able to use a quiet air pump that can hardly be heard at all. For this construction, you'll need to 3D print the mounting assembly, and I'll leave a link to the STL file in the description. You will also require a tubing cutter, a pair of pliers or crimpers, and some quarter inch outer diameter copper tubing from Home Depot, or aluminum if you can get your hands on it. Measure out three and a half inches to four inches of copper tubing and cut it using a tubing cutter. You can use a pair of uh, cutting pliers or a hacksaw, but that will leave the edges ragged and or the tubing flat where you want it to be perfectly round.
Next, straighten out the tubing as best you can. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight as you'll be bending the tubing later. I take a quarter inch drill bit and lightly remount the hole in the plastic holder before pressing the copper tubing into it. The hole is canted such that the tubing will be pointed towards the cutting area. Take the crimpers and crimp the tubing end to form the nozzle tip. I block off one of the air holes so that all of the air exits the other hole. You can verify this by blowing lightly into the tubing and feel the air coming out. The air pump that I use is a Paul Fly commercial air pump model number MC3000 uh, quiet oxygen pump for an aquarium pond. It has a 16 liter per minute uh, flow rate and is very quiet, has two speeds and, uh, and is perfect for this application. So that's it for this video. I hope that it was informative and would help you in finding the perfect air assist nozzle for your laser cutter. If you like this video, please smash that like button and refer this video to your friends. Uh, if you wondered what that ring of light was that was illuminating a cut surface, that's my alternate solution to a red laser pointer that marks where the laser cutter will do its work. I'll make another video about it, but don't forget to subscribe and this is Lum signing off. And I'll see you in the next video.